point. See. Can you see this circular basin? <laughs> Hello everyone. You humbly welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Rufina Tankia. And in this video, I want to share with you all how to make liquid soap. Liquid soap can be used domestically for washing of dishes, cleaning of the floor, and other things. And if you want to start up a business, small business, you can also learn how to make liquid soap and use it as a business. So please stay tuned and learn how liquid soap is made locally here in Ghana with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like the video, and leave your comment. These are the ingredients for making um, liquid soap. Yeah, we have base, booster, salt, some perfume, and color. So I need to put these two ingredients aside. The perfume and then the color. This is a green color. This is how it looks. We start with the other ingredients the base, the booster, and the salt, and the others. So we have to mix everything together. Other people usually mix the salt with the base first before they add the other ingredients. But you can also mix everything together and do right away. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix everything together, then we begin stirring. So pour in the salt. This is about 2,000 grams, grams of salt. And then our base goes in mix. So you can get this from the market. Anytime you go to the market, just ask the market women where you can get liquid soap to buy here in Ghana. For other countries, I don't know where they sell the ingredients and if you are in a vongo you can also get the ingredients from um mama rosemary store she is a hairdresser but she sells these ingredients as well so we add in the other ingredients so some people would advise that you wear gloves to do the liquid soap but i'm comfortable without the gloves so i'm going to pour the water in a basin so that we can easily add it to our mixture as we go along the way so this water is 25 liters we might need some more along the way. So if they need a rice, I'll let you know. So the liquid soap is all about you getting it to the consistency that you want. If you want your liquid soap to be too light, then you have to add more water. And if you want it to be very thick, then you add less water. We're just going to stir all this together. So, I'll add in some water. We are just trying to dissolve all the mixture that's why you stay so the other time my brother was telling me that there's another process of making liquid soap i haven't tried that particular process yet that some people will just measure the quantity of water then add the ingredients to it and cover it and leave it overnight i haven't tried that kind of process yet i don't know how it works he was just telling me that that's how some people make liquid soap these days. So I learned how to make liquid soap for my one of my elder brothers. He came home one 
time and he was like he knows how to make liquid soap and then he bought the ingredients and taught me so that's how i got to learn how to do it. so i'm going to dissolve the color in water so this is it. it's color green green color so we leave it to dissolve I'll add in more water. Once you add in the water, the mixture begins to thicken as you add gradually add in the water. You see, it's not yet dissolved, so we still need to stay. Getting quite late here. Time to add in another oil. Now this one is becoming very thick. It's now becoming more thick. <laughs> I'm not sure how basin will be able to contain this mixture. You might need to change it. Uh -oh. Ah, basin is too small. <laughs> oh, it has become super thick. So, for me, I think liquid soap is not really a difficult thing. It's not difficult to do. You just need to get the ingredients right and you are good to go. Once you get all the ingredients, then you are good to go. Because the process is all about stirring and adding in water. Stir, you add water, stir until everything dissolves. Usually, you might not be able to dissolve everything, but at least the greater percentage must be dissolved. About 90 something percent of the ingredients should dissolve. Uh, Miss Chai is thick. I need to add in more water. At this point, I think we are done with the 25 liters of water. We might need to add more water. As you can see, it's becoming thicker. More, more, more thick. So, for now, the thickness is okay. I'll just add in the last water. I have to be gentle because it's very full. This is the color that we've dissolved. We have dissolved the color. I'm about to add it to it. So as you can see, this is color green. I will not add everything in the inside. I don't want it to be too deep. I think it's okay. So by tomorrow, if the color is not to the consistency that I like, then I'll add in the rest of the color. But for now, this is okay. So we need to leave this overnight for everything to settle. Tomorrow, it will be clear. We'll have our mixture. So right now, we can't call this liquid soap. But right now, it's very soapy. See how it is. It's, it's very soapy. 
but by tomorrow you see the real soap so let's leave this to settle then attend to it tomorrow so i'll see you all tomorrow morning so guys this is the next day after we mix the liquid soap ingredients so this is how the liquid soap is looking right now as you can see this is how it's looking so we left it overnight for it to settle i got up early in the morning and i was busy doing other things i'm now attending to it the liquid soap is about 11 a.m now so i'll show you how the thickness and the consistency so this is how the liquid soap looks after we left it overnight you see it's very thick this is how it looks and yesterday i should have added the this the fragrance the perfume but i kind of forgot but it's not too late it's just to give it that nice fragrance so i'm about to add that as well i'm going to add a fragrance to it so the fragrance is just to give it a nice smell nice fragrance so i'm going to mix everything together hmm. the smell is very good so i'm trying to mix everything so the liquid soap is all done it's ready so i'll just do a little demonstration for you to see the thickness and how the soap lathers so let me get the cup so i'll be doing um shower gel after this particular video so kindly look out for that particular video when i upload so this is how the thickness is can you hear that sound this is how the thickness is it's very thick so let me put some this is too much so about this this quantity i'll put it in a sponge we use this to wash bowls here so you can see there's no soap inside let me add it to the sponge see. can you see the soap so i'll gently use it to wash this particular basin you see how it lathers it lathers very well so i would like to encourage each and everyone watching this particular video to try making this liquid soap at home i think it's very economical to make the liquid soap than to buy the already made one so um, and the ingredient cost me about 90, 95 ghana cities here in avrungo but somewhere in december i think the first week of december i bought some in suedro which cost 47 ghana cities so maybe because of transportation it's a bit expensive here in avrungo but the price is okay it's so 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 okay to make your own liquid soap than to buy it if you're a parent out there please share this video to your children your nieces your nephews all the children in your house share the video with them so that they get to learn how to make liquid soap because it will go a long way to help the entire household because making the liquid soap is way 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 cheaper than buying the already made one please if you have watched the video to this time please do well to subscribe to my channel like the video and leave your comments how did you find the liquid soap uh, video was it helpful please leave a comment i'll see you all in my next video please watch out for my next video which will be on how to make shower gel for bathing so i'll see you all in my next video bye bye